since I posted a couple of reviews on the LX85 mount, um, I've had most of the questions I've had are about connecting it to the PC, what driver to use, um, and then uh, different software controlling the, the mount. Um, so what I wanted to show, uh, should be a real quick video, um, just take a few minutes, um, is how I connect it to the PC uh, and control it, um, what driver I use, uh, and then also uh, a new cable I just got, uh, which might be a little bit easier. Uh, so we'll take a look at that too. So this uses uh, a cable that Need has used for, uh, I don't know, 15 years or so. Um, it's from the 497 hand controller. The Need cable is called a Need 505. Uh, it goes into a serial adapter um, here. And then, uh, unless your laptop's 20 years old, you don't have a serial port on it anymore. Everything is USB. Um, so you need a what's called a DB9 to USB adapter. I have that going into my USB hub, but and then to the PC, but you can connect it directly to your PC, um, however you'd like. Uh, so I'm just going to real quick... Oops. Um, set the time on the scope, reconnect it to the PC, I just set a slew, uh, actually I set it to M42 because it's the middle of the sun, um, so that's what's up during the day. Um, so this will finish its slew, I'll park it back, uh, and then uh, give me just a minute, we'll talk about the new cable. Okay, so I'm just, I'm setting up um, another uh, scope and mount setup for uh, my daughter. And I was looking for a Meet 505 cable and came on Amazon, uh, came about a direct to USB. Um, looks like it should work. Uh, actually, I tested it, it does work. Um, but it eliminates the need for the serial adapter and then a DB9 to USB. It just goes direct from the hand controller into the USB. Um, so I will just show you that it works. It's from a company called uh, Washingly. And I'll put a link in the description um, to, the, uh, to the cable. So let's plug it in. Okay, we are connected. Now tell it to slew again. So uh, it's just a little easier, a um, few steps less uh, in between. Um, but it works. Uh, so again, give me just a minute. We'll uh, get this scope back up and uh, we'll talk about the driver I use and, uh, and the different software settings. So that still works, um, obviously. Um, so that the the cable, um, it's only twenty two dollars. So it actually ends up costing less than buying the Meet five hundred five and the the uh, other adapter. You know, time will tell how it how it holds up. Um, but for right now, it works great. Um, so let's talk about some of the uh, the drivers and uh, the software options I use. Okay, so first things first, um, this is the driver that I'm using. Uh, it's been in development uh, for about a year from a, a guy named Colin Dawson. Uh, he's done a lot of work, and um, I, I, when I started using this driver, I was using an old uh, Mead LXD75 mount, and uh, uh, the drivers that were all available were old, and didn't really have a lot of um, options that I wanted. Um, 
I could never do an automated Meridian flip before, but uh, with this driver, I was able to. So I'll put a link to this uh, also in the description, or you can find it on the um, on the SCOM drivers page, um, right over here. Uh, it's called the Mead Auto Star Audio Star Project, uh, and pre-release June 2019. All right, uh, one of the things uh, I've come about quite often, or at least has been asked quite often, is uh, you know the, the the scope's not responding in PHD two. Uh, the driver's been installed, the cable's been installed. Uh, one thing with the driver that looks like it'll be fixed in the next release is that you can have the scope completely unplugged, and this is the the driver that shows up. It shows up as me generic, but you can have the scope completely unplugged and connect it, and it'll connect. It'll act like it's connected, but when you try to guide or anything else, it won't be connected. So I make sure you go into the settings and that the, the COM port is checked correctly. And you can connect. And my camera is not connected right now, so the scope is. So that's okay. Now I am connected here. That was the camera that failed. Okay. So I am connected. Um, unfortunately, it's the middle of the day, so I can't really, you know, prove it. Um, but really, when you go in to connect, just make sure you have the COM port selected properly. Um, and that should be it. Um, I use APT for imaging. Um, so if I disconnect the scope, all right, and then I can hold shift and connect. Let's me select the need generic. If I go to properties, it'll show me again the com port to select. Um, there'll only be one available, and it'll, in most cases, I should say, depends on how your computer's configured. All right, and that's connected. If you ever do want to see what COM port you're available, you have available, um, you can go into the device manager. Old computer. All right, and you'll have COM and LPT ports. All right, and you'll see a USB serial port. In my case, it's COM5. In your case, it may be three, four, any number. Um, but you want to make sure that you select the right COM port and then you should be connected. I uh, hope this helps. Um, any questions, you can drop me a line and, uh, and I'll take a look at them. Thanks, everyone.